Guy Vaclar hit a home run with a navigator. I mean, that is one awesome laser. Uh, the design, the ergonomics, and certainly the presets on there for a new user to be able to just go through a list and preset uh, for a specific procedure is a huge advantage. And it gives the practitioner the peace of mind that you know they don't have to bog their mind down with trying to remember all of this. It's just right there for them. And for the advanced user, it has all the functionality and the flexibility to uh, have individual settings, uh, really customize your laser experience as you get more experience. The first procedure I saw done in, in I, and I started using the laser for was trimming soft tissue in a small design and just creating a better architecture of the soft tissue than usual symmetry. Seeing it done, watching someone do it on one of my patients, and it was that, that was like, I gotta have this. And then all the, again, started to see the mistakes and smiles where we can correct soft tissue architecture. I use the laser probably in, I use it in a lot of procedures, but for two things it uses the most is troughing soft tissue to take an impression, to get better isolation of my preparation, and number two is symmetry in soft tissue and small designs. One of the easiest procedures to cut your teeth on, in, in my opinion, is just the simple use of it for tissue troughing in the posterior. Uh, because everybody does full crowns in the posterior is one of our bread and butter procedures that we do, but often we'll get that subgingival margin where you get down there, you take out the old alloy, and it's bleeding. And you can't see the margin now. Now, a nice thing is, if the patient's well anesthetized back there anyways, is to take the laser and go in there and trough and get the hemostasis you need. That would be the first procedure I do. It's exciting because, you know, I think after 10 years in private practice, personally, I can't say I was overly excited every day to go to work. Um, the combination of lasers and microscopes has made my job much more calling. Um, it's changed how I view the profession and it's changed the enjoyment level that I have and each day becomes a new learning experience to see how, what some of the clinical cases that others are doing and say, you know, I have a patient that probably I could use that particular process. I think after you graduate from dental school you think you know it all and you realize you just know enough to stay out of trouble. And when you start looking at some of these new technologies that are coming out, it's exciting because all of a sudden it makes it enjoyable to go back to work. Because dentistry is a job and unfortunately it's like other jobs. It can become somewhat mundane and routine to some degree after you've done it for a while. And, and integrating a new technology like lasers into your practice can, can make it a little more enjoyable to go to work each day.